everybody welcome back to my channel uh, I'm here today with a flip through uh, my some of my Mother's Day albums and layouts uh, because Mother Day has just passed and maybe you like me are working now on the last Mother's Day celebration pictures to be honest I have to still have my pictures printed but I was looking for inspiration in my old albums and I thought well maybe people would like to see what I've done and get inspired by, by that and get some ideas. Let's start by 2010, many moons ago. Um, these uh, pages belong to an album. I removed them from the album because the album was uh, not easy to deal with. So, and it's just four layouts, so three, four, four layouts. So it was easier to show them to you this way. Let me start by saying that everything, everything here is printed with my computer. The background paper, the matting papers, the embellishments, uh, some of them are already printed, like this is already printed on the background paper, this also these little pieces of matting paper are printed. I think, let me check, this and this uh, embellishment are printed apart and this also and I glued them, this, no, this is printed on the paper, this and this and this are printed apart, I cut them out and I glued it to the layout. But everything else is printed on the page, so it's uh, really easy and fast. I distress the borders with the uh, crayons, as you can see, and um, that's almost all I did in this layout. It was very, very quick. In this case, uh, this card is printed by me. The papers are original, the frame are original, the arrows are original stickers. Um, the butterflies are um, from Dollar Tree. I think they don't carry them anymore, which is sad because they are really beautiful. Uh, and this was a very, very old um, embellishment that I had. I added two pearls here. I distressed the frame and I distressed the card also. And I used two pieces of papers that I, that I had scrap papers and um, I glued them together, I glued a, lot, a little bit of the same paper here to pretend that it's really an 8 by 8 page with a banner or a strip of paper on top of it. But in fact, um, just those leftovers that you get when you are working with 12 by 12 pages. In this case, um, this card and this uh, embellishment and this one have been printed by me. The paper is original and the flowers are original stickers. As you can see I use markers to go around the flowers to kind of distress them and make, make them stand out a little bit more and I distress everything else using chalk ink or sometimes eyeshadows if I don't have the color. Uh, I use the, I don't remember the name of the tool that I show you once, it's a tool that makes stitches but they are stamps and I use them here and here and uh, then I just added the pictures and that was it. This is the advantage of scanning the original uh, journaling cards, the Project Life Type 1 ones, sorry, scanning them. So once you use them, the originals, you can always print them again and have them again. And as I always say, you can resize them. I think this was a larger one and I resized them. Uh, this was the original size. But anyways, if I need a smaller one or a larger one, I just enlarge it or uh, resize it with uh, my photo editor. You can use whatever you have 
I have Photoshop. And that's another advantage. It's not only that you have the card to be used as many times as you can, but also the advantage of being able to uh, resize them to the size you need. And this is the last page for 2010. Um, this was printed by me. Everything else is original. And this is a uh, washi tape that I bought on eBay from China. It has the, the lace. And I printed these words on top of it with stamps. I don't print it them. I stamp them <laughs> with stamps. Haley swap stamps. And then just a picture. Working working with 8x8 eight eight, um, papers sometimes is easier because uh, you don't have such a large page to fill, especially when you don't have many pictures, smaller band, and uh, it, for me it's, it's really easier to work with. Let's go now to this other album. Many people ask me, where do I buy my albums? Well, I I don't think that I have ever bought an album at Michael's or Joanne's. Maybe once with a coupon of 40% uh, off. But I'm not sure. I got many of them as presents because, you know, people know <laughs> that I'm a scrapbooker, booker. So that's a, from time to time they um, you know, give me albums as presents for birthday, Christmas, whatever. But um, I buy almost all of them on eBay. Amazon is really expensive compared to eBay at least. And a lot, a lot of them at the Red, White and Blue, which is a thrift store that I don't know why, but usually carries um, very nice um, scrapbooking albums. Goodwill... I have found one, two, once in a while I find one, but it's, I don't know why it's not common to find scrapbooking albums there. Yes, you find photo albums, but not scrapbooking albums. Photo albums are those who have divisions to place the pictures and that's it. But I don't know why red, white and blue, and, and I have uh, two red, white and blues on, in my area, and both of them always carry more than one, two, three albums each time I go. I had to stop buying because I had a lot of them. And uh, and they, I paid two dollars, sometimes one dollar fifty. I don't remember having paid more than three dollars for an album. And um, the advantage is that they usually come with they are 12 by 12 usually, and they come with the white pages inside, white paper. So I use the album for my scrapbooks, and I have the white pages that I usually cut them to letter size, and I use that, those pages to uh, print whatever I need to print, even to print embell embellishments. Well, I decided not to place anything here because it's a Mother's Day album, so I, I thought that this sentiment was perfect. Like flowers, each memory is unique, each memory is beautiful. In this album I have Mother's Day's uh, pictures from 2012, 2013 and 2016. The other years in between are in other albums and I, I'm not going to show you all of them. <laughs> You're going to end up sleeping and waking up when I say, okay, bye-bye. <laughs> well, um, these are numbers that I printed out, and I place them here with foam squares or rectangles. I use, uh, in this case, I use mounting tape. I cut it to the size I needed. By that time, when I made this album, um, Dollar Tree didn't have those um, foam squares that they sell now that are cut in small pieces and they are, they are perfect for this kind of stuff. So I use the the now the one that is um, one piece. I, I don't know how to describe it. You know what I mean? And I cut. I used to cut it uh, to this size. 
Um, this is a picture of the balloon, one of the balloons. I, this, is, this was printed by me. This is placed, oh, let me tell you, this is placed on the lid that is under the lid of, uh, you know, when you buy sour cream, uh, well, usually you have the lid and on top of the lid, it's not under, it's on top of the lid. The lid has kind of a, it's, has a space and has a, uh, this piece of uh, cardstock. Uh, with the brand and the description, and uh, I used to keep them. I I'm not consuming sour cream anymore, but I used to keep them, and they are perfect as melting papers on the back side. I printed this out with my computer. I added, like you can see, glitter glue, and with markers I went all around the letters. And again, I used those foam. Uh, or mounting tape rectangles to give the uh, give it a 3D uh, look. Again, everything is distressed with chalk ink. Here, I made this envelope with scrapbooking paper, and I placed the balloon inside. I use these alphas that I already had. I make myself these butterflies with a punch from Martha Stewart. That it was a wonderful investment because I love using butterflies in my layouts and I don't have to buy them anymore. I used to buy them on eBay and now I can use make them myself. Then I added pieces of uh, scrapbook paper, scrapbooking paper and distressed everything. Here are mainly the pictures. We went to the movies, as you can see. And here are the tickets. This is real um, ephemera, memorabilia. I added these flowers. I distressed them and I added tiny foam dots here. Again, I love 3D look in my uh, embellishments. This border, I made this with the uh, special scissors. Are a little bit hard to find uh, nowadays. I'm glad I bought a lot of them, different designs, because I really like uh, cutting pieces of paper and using those different borders. You know, I use the same here. In this case, I printed a very large. I printed this picture with my computer. All these pictures are printed with my computer, with my printer. And um, I decided to uh, print this large picture and distress the borders. I love using corners. Here, again, pictures and a few details, a rectangle of scab booking paper, scab that I had al already around in my stash, and um, just a few details. I love how it looks under the the this kind of window. <laughs> well, as a proud mom that I am, <laughs> this cake was made by my son from scratch. It's not made from a box, and he decorated himself. Of course. When he transported it to my house, something happened, but I, I, I was so happy. I couldn't believe it when I saw it. He, he's, he's, I love my kids so much. They are awesome. <laughs> Here are the presents. Here is the, the story of the cake. Here I am opening the presents. And the last layout for this year, I placed the pictures. This is a flower I make. I made this um, using a tutorial on YouTube 
but some maybe someday I will tell you how to make them. It's really easy and they look so beautiful and you can use all these little bit bits and pieces of paper that you have around. Um, this um, tiny tiny book came with uh, some embellishments so I decided to place it here. Um, I love uh, when I can uh, when I have pieces of paper and I can tear them up uh, and, and get this border. So that's what I did here. And in this little book I placed very very small pictures of all the presents I got. Let's move on to 2013. <laughs> My god, okay. 2013. <laughs> Much better. Okay, I had this page, it was 12 by 12, and I thought it was perfect as a divider, you know, one year from the other. This, I printed this with my computer on transparency paper, and I adhered it with um, Valium uh, adhesive, this adhesive, and um, I think it was a great um, idea for, for this divider. Well, you know me already, I love placing envelopes and saving the, the memorabilia, so here is the balloon. These are Prima flowers, and um, I added just this twine, and this is an embellishment that is on, on kind of fabric that uh, I can't get that embellishment anymore. I'm glad that I had it, but okay, I use it already, I don't have it anymore. And this is a description of how the day went. We, op I opened the presents, that was the first step. The arrows are, you know, guiding you through the day. Then we went out for dinner. Then we went bowling. And then we came back to my home and the cake the best part. I think the best part is opening the presents <laughs> and you will see why I say this. Here are the pictures we took through the day, during the day, and uh, <laughs> yeah, you can see my favorite things about Mother's Day, celebrating with my kids, dining out, the present, the present, the present, the present. <laughs> so I love opening presents. These are also flowers that I make. These are so easy. I have to, to show you how I make this. You can, I have a box full of them in different sizes. I love because I can use all those pieces of paper that I don't want to throw to the garbage and, okay, I can make flowers with them. Uh, this is something I printed with my computer. This was printed with my computer also. And then I added a ribbon and some scrapbooking paper. These are real stickers. I also, I have them scanned and I, later in other albums, I printed them in, in transparency paper to use them again because I really like them. And here we are at the bowling. We're having dinner and then we started playing. These are uh, some embellishments that I bought on eBay from China. I still have some of them. These are real stickers. I printed this with my computer. I look for the um, logo on the um, internet and I printed it out in the photo paper. Here I am, um, well, I didn't show the result, <laughs> and I don't want to show the result. <laughs> I'm awful at bowling, but I have a lot of fun, a lot of fun, so that's it for me. I want to have fun, that's it. And um, I had this, I found on, on, on eBay this large uh, sticker, which was great for this page. And well, that's it. 
I also found these stickers about bowling, and the shoes, you know. The I printed this uh, with my computer on transparency paper. You can notice that it's a little bit pixelated. I, I don't mind. This was also printed with my computer, and this was also printed with my computer. And then I made this tiny album. And here is my son, the score, <coughs> sorry, my daughter, me again, and my son again. I'm going to play the ball later. As you can see, I love using mini albums, booklets. I think um, allow, that allows you to place more pictures in, in an album without using too many pages. Uh, here I'm showing that we went back home to enjoy the cake. Again, this cake was a public cake <laughs> from the supermarket, but my daughter, my son, wrote the Happy Mother's Day on top of it. And here we are ready to eat the cake. It's cake time. I love these alphas and I'm almost run out of them and I can't find them anymore. And now we go to 2016. I decided to use this booklet that came with, um, at some point, some, a few years ago, Heidi Swap came out with the idea, came up with the idea uh, of uh, memory folders. I made a couple of them. I love them. I don't know why they lasted. I, I think they lasted just one year. Uh, and I still have some, and I'm going to use them because it's a great idea. And uh, I will show you one of them ones I made in another video because they don't take a lot of room and you can place a lot of pictures. I, I, I've i seen uh, memory folders or file folders, uh, I think memory folders, um, with over 40 uh, pictures and they are not bulky at all. So, well, I, going back to the, <laughs> the Mother's Day album, I used the booklet from that folder, memory folder. I uh, made some journaling, wrote some journaling about the day. Here we are celebrating. I'm getting hungry. My son prepared all this. And here, that's it. You can see the balloon and the card. And guess what? Here it is the balloon and here it is the card. <laughs> and I use the same envelope, envelope where the card came and uh, I adhered it to the page to keep the memorabilia there. Um, here everything is original, I didn't print anything. I love this lace washi tape, I buy it all the time from China China, and um, it's really good. I, I honestly have no problems with uh, the, those China sellers, I always buy from the same sellers. And uh, I, again as I always say, you have to be patient, things that come from from China usually takes 15 20 days to arrive but I don't I don't mind it's really inexpensive and I love it this this kind of washi tape and now let me show you the last album for today which is from 2017 This was an album that my kids gave me as a present some years, a few years ago. I think it was for my birthday. It was bare, it was brown, so I, mm, I had to adhere the paper on top 
the heart was already in here so no problem with that so I decided to add a doily I love using doilies when it's something kind of romantic or vintage and pieces of paper and a sticker with a date I also deal this paper in this side and here oh 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 <laughs> I need to put some adhesive again here it, this was the way the, the album looked it came with these covers and these pages that were printed and I added some elements to them so in this case I cut the page to place the picture under this banner on the other side I place a picture to cover the hole so again this is another cake that my son made so I use a brad to hide the journaling and uh, so you can see that he made a beautiful cake himself again from scratch it's not a box one I just added this um, uh, stickers again I used uh, and, uh, one of those uh, decorative scissors I have a lot of them a lot different uh, borders I can make a lot of different borders I distressed the heart here I added the arrow everything else came printed with the album this was printed in the album I added this sticker I think it's from Simple Stories, I'm not quite sure. I printed this pinwheel with my computer and these are real stickers. And here are the presents. I love how washi tape uh, gives a special finish to uh, pictures and elements that you add to, to your page. I, I find that washi tape is a great, great addition to layouts. This was already printed, so I added the pictures, I added washi tape here, here and here, I added this, uh, this and this that are wrap-ons, this uh, butterfly from, is from Dollar Tree, and this is a, a sticker that I have. Here, oh, oh, again I have to place more adhesive here this was printed so I added Mother's Day 2017 I added the sticker, the heart and this is a list of the presents and here I am with my presents the presents I got and here is a list of the presents I love hidden journaling as you can see <laughs> it's kind of surprise surprise and uh, here I am with a cake. This is another uh, sticker that I have. I used uh, this was not uh, three dimensional. I used um, let me see what did I use? I think yes. I used something that I show you in a previous video that I do. I replaced the, the foam dots with popsicle sticks. Can you see it? I hope you can see it. I use popsicle sticks. I break them to the size I need and I just add some um, adhesive. Usually I have it here. This is the adhesive I use for this kind of stuff. And they adhere perfectly. This is um, fabric washi tape and uh, these are stickers that I already had. I added some, some elements with the marker and uh, here again the washi tape let's see to this. Again another washi tape that I buy from China. Sorry my battery died so here I am again with the last page a simple one, a picture, some corners this was printed already so I went around with a marker to make it stand out a little bit more 
I this was also printed on the page. I added some glitter glue on the center. I added this rick rack, this sticker, and this embellishment, and this one also. And I distressed the borders, and that that was. Oh, okay. I added this. I added all these stickers on the tabs. I forgot about that, but I, I think you noticed it already. And uh, the album was finished. So I hope you will find some inspiration in what I did. And if you like this video, please give me a thumbs up. Subscribe if you haven't already, and ring the bell. You will get notified whenever I upload the video, which is usually on Mondays. Um, thank you so, so much for watching and hope to see you in my next video. Have a wonderful day. Bye-bye.